UGD coming at you with the viewer comments. That's right, guys. Viewer comment. This all came about with I got a job. Yeah, I got a job. Uh, Tony V took exception. Yeah, there at the end of the video, I might have poked a little fun at Iraq. That 88, 88, and that he's a corporate shill. And uh, he says, I sense a little jealousy. I'm sorry that people are so jealous of me. But I can't help it that I'm popular. <laughs> yes, he said, I sense a little jealousy. Uh, yeah, I I am jealous, guys. Uh, I mean, just take a look at this cat. Yeah. I mean, anybody can rock a headband like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, a little jealousy it is. And my reply was, yes, yes, I am. Maybe, just maybe, one day if I work really, really hard, I can charge for my reviews. Him and his arms, if you're listening, I'm out there for you. Forget about that sick sire nonsense. Now, to be fair, I have never been on video. I really can't poke too much fun at this cat. All you see are my girly little hands. So, here you guys go. Here's a little preview of what I look like. If you took from the loins from these three men, you would have the UGD. You take a little Brad Pitt, you throw in a little bit of Elvis, and you sprinkle in some Chris Farley. Yeah, there you go. That's what the UGD looks like. And hey, Tony V, I get it. There's just people out there that, you know, they're off limits. For me, there's one gal that you just cannot make fun of no matter what, Judge Judy. Yep, Judge Judy, you better back off if you got anything to say about Judge Judy. Hey, it's Tony V's credit. He did come back and uh, say well, he might be a bit of a fanboy, and he does enjoy the channel and said, keep up the good work. So, Tony V, thumbs up, my man. Next, we got Late Night. Late Night. Now, he's in there twice, so let's give you the first one. Wow, in a little over three minutes, you flipped the gun 20 times. Just saying. Apparently, I have a flip problem. Yeah, I have a bit of a flip problem with my firearms. And late night's right. I've got to cut that out. So uh, on a video in the future, I'm going to do a flip counter and really assess what kind of flippage I'm doing during the video. And this is not the first time I've taken uh, these criticisms to heart. Uh, we had a stock block. Yeah, stock block came in on a video and said, I said the word blank, blank, way too much. And so the next video, I bleeped it out for him. Yeah, that's right. I care. I'll give me a quick rundown of this striker. 2005, 2012, 13 is when they made these Stock Glock, I know you said you left the channel. You got to come back, my man. Because Hot Rod, Hot Rod, Hot Rod. There we go, Larry. He came back and said, that damn cat. Yeah, during the PPS video, the cat started hacking up a, a fur ball. He said, Walter, that bastard. What? Shoot my cat. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Charlie is 14 years old, guys, and he's a bit of an asshole. He believes that the cats rule the world and we're just his property. Hey, Larry. Not a bad idea. He did make a god-awful sound a, a while back in the middle of the night. I, I was picking out a pistol to finish him off. I thought he was on his deathbed. Richard, he came at me on the LCRX 3-inch. Can you really pocket carry something so large? Girly hands. Yeah, I got plenty of room in my pocket to get that in there, my man. Shooting with Uncle Dan. Now, Shooting with Uncle Dan is one of my favorite channels. He said, uh, you are definitely influential. Watching your videos has influenced me big time. That's why I bought a blue checkered tablecloth. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I'm also learning, a, or I'm also going to a speech therapy. He wants to learn to talk like a Mexican DJ. There's a used gun dude. This guy is smoother talking than a Mexican DJ. I'm telling you right now, and he gives excellent. Yeah, there's your context, guys. And here's what makes me mad about that comment. He leaves a comment on my video. He gets more damn comments on his comment than I do the video. There's just something wrong with that, guys. Something absolutely wrong with that. All right, let's flip over to Retro 68. What is that intro music? Yeah, that was on the Vintage 19 Gen 2 goodness from the Glock. Uh, that was the Divinals. Yes, the Divinals. I touch myself. Uh, you know, you got to note the hands. You got to note I got plenty of room in the pocket. And yes, I do do the vinyls, guys. Yes, I do do the vinyls. Late night came back again. Dude, speak normal, please. Is this how you talk to your friends? It's smoother talking than a Mexican DJ. Yeah, that's right, fella. I do talk like that. A Mexican DJ. Jazz man. <laughs> yes, jazz man. Look at this. I'm posting these as, I, as I'm going through this, but look how long this is. God almighty, we went back and forth, back... I don't talk to my brother this much. Apparently, he is now on my Christmas card list. He's going to get something in the mail. Caleb. Caleb. Hey, this is a strong viewer. He leaves a lot of comments. He put in there, you're slipping, man. Yeah, you're slipping. You haven't posted a new video in two days. Two days. Hey, fella. 150 videos this year. Now, my math ain't real good, but it's getting gooder. That's 12.5 per month. God almighty, what can I do? <laughs> Craig, he came at me. 
Now, Craig, this is a legitimate apology. And this is from the heart, my man. He was watching the 2A update from September 7th. And there was a Chinaman that had him a BMW that tried to run over a guy in a Huffy. Well, the guy in the Huffy ended up killing the BMW dude. And I might have made a comment that it's a typical BMW driver. Yeah, yeah, that was wrong. That was wrong. And, and from the bottom of my heart, I want to apologize to all the BMW drivers out there. Yeah, sure, you're ass clowns. And sure, you drive an ass clown car. But you don't deserve this kind of treatment. Guys, this is UGD. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you think I got to take myself a little more serious, hit the thumbs down and please subscribe.